What's up everyone, this is Cybernet 8610 and today we have some Yu-Gi-Oh news for you guys. Uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh Star Deck 2013 has had some announcements for it. We know uh, four of the cards that have come out in it. And uh, yeah, uh, I remember talking about this with you guys, I don't know, a couple months ago we talked about the Star Deck when it was first announced. It's coming out March 16th of 2013, not too far off, and that of course is for Japan. Uh, it's also going to have like packs in the Star Deck, which is really cool. Uh, there are going to be like two packs in there, and then each pack is going to contain five cards, and there's going to be 15 cards in that set. So it's going to be, I think, a pretty cool Star Deck, and I'm, I'm really liking how they're trying something different. Anyway, here are the new cards though, that have been announced for this. Of course, uh, Gaga Kid. It is going to be a, a two-star dark monster spellcaster. Uh, 800 attack, 1,200 defense. Its effect is if you control a face-up Gaga monster, except Gaga Kid. Uh, you can special summon this card uh, from your hand. When you do, target one Gaga monster you control. Uh, this card's level becomes a level of that monster. You cannot conduct your battle phase uh, the turn you activate this effect. So yeah, it's a pretty cool effect. I like this card. I like how they're, of course, still doing more with the Gaga archetype. I hate the name of the Gaga archetype, though. I hate saying that. <laughs> I wish it was a little different, although I do like the archetype itself. You know, the Magician and all them, I think they're really awesome cards. I'm glad they're getting more support. Of course, being main characters' cards, they will. And uh, yeah, it seems like a pretty cool card, though. It makes me want to build a deck around them, just kind of for fun, at least. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll have to do some kind of deck profile on them. Uh, another one is uh, Rank Up Magic Limited Baron's Force. Uh, this is going to be a, a normal spell card, and its effect is uh, uh, target one face up rank four XC monster you control, XC summon one number C monster with one rank higher than that target. Using the, the targets as the XC materials, the XC materials attached to that monster become the XC materials to the new XC monster. <laughs> Very confusing effect. Well, let me explain it, just plain and simple. Basically, it's a card that will take a XC monster to its uh, Chaos version. Just really simple. And, of course, all of the XC monsters on the regular version will go to the Chaos version. So, yeah, it's a cool card. I like how they're, of course, doing a lot more with Chaos XC, so that's really cool. And I can't wait to see, you know, what else they're going to do. Hopefully, we're going to have a lot more uh, number uh, Chaos monsters. I think so far we've only heard of three. Of course, uh, Utopia, Shark Drake... And Utopia's actually getting a second one, so I guess four. And of course, there's another one for the uh, Burning Knuckler uh, monster that's been announced in and Tachyon. They're actually going to have a Chaos XC, I think, for that pretty soon. So, yeah, so far when they have four of those, hopefully we're going to have a lot more uh, uh, number ex uh, Chaos numbers. Uh, so, yeah, also there's going to be another Utopia monster, so you guys already know its effect, of course. And I'm hoping maybe they'll do a different rarity with it or something. So, Utopia, I guess, will be the first one that have all the rarities. I know Stardust got a lot of different rarities, and Cyber Dragon did as well. So, I guess Utopia is going to be the one that passed both of those. Uh, here's the effect, though, of the new Utopia monster. It's number uh, C39, Utopia Ray V. Of course, this is a rank 5 monster, light warrior uh, type monster. It has a, a 2600 attack, 2000 defense. It requires uh, 3 level 5 monsters to exceed summon into it. So, of course, it goes with the whole uh, ZW thing uh, with all those coming out. All right, here's its effect. Uh, when slash if this card is destroyed by your opponent and sent to the graveyard, you can return one XC material in your graveyard to the extra deck. Also, if this card has uh, Utopia uh, monster as its XC material, it gains the following effect. Once per turn, you can uh, activate this card's effect by moving one XC material from this card and selecting one face-up monster your opponent controls. You can destroy uh, the selected opponent's monster and inflict damage equal to that monster's attack points to your opponent's life points. So yeah, it kind of has an, a confusing effect right now. Uh, pretty interesting, though. It kind of reminds me, of course, of the other uh, Utopia Ray, where you have to have Utopia uh, attached to it, you know, to use its effect. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty awesome effect. What do you guys think about it? I can't wait to see the artwork to really all these cards. We don't really have any artwork to any of these, especially the Utopia Ray. I think it's going to be really cool. I think it's going to be one that's going to be used a little bit more than the one we already have, the Chaos Number that we already have for Utopia. But yeah, please tell me what you guys think about that. I've heard some rumors that it's going to look really cool, like a uh, black and blue colored Utopia. And I uh, also heard like it might be like red colored, but of course, no artwork just yet. So we'll have to have that really soon. But yeah, these are the four cards that have been announced so far. Please tell me what you guys think about the Star Deck. Thank you, if, you know, tell me if you're really excited or not. I am going to guess that we'll end up getting this, of course, in the TCG uh, around the summer or so. You know, it'll be some time like that. And I can't wait to get it. Hopefully, it's going to be really awesome. And I, like I said, I think this Utopia will be used a lot more in the version we already have. So, yeah, please tell me, of course, like I said, what you guys think. Thanks for watching. All the info will be in the description. And I will catch you guys later. See ya. 
Hope you've enjoyed my latest video. Be sure to check out the next and previous buttons that are down below so you can see some of the past and future videos that I've made. And also be sure to check out the two featured videos that are on both sides of me. Thanks again for watching and be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Later, guys.